Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and today I have a guide for you all on how exactly the cryo element works. Now, cryo is a new element inside of the pre-sequel, and it works a lot like slag does in Borderlands 2, however with an added bonus. This only works on criticals, explosive damage, and melee. This is a little bit different from Slag, however the Cryo element does actually benefit from its own element for once, however it is not as effective, and we'll go ahead and go over that now. First let's go over melee. You can see that I hit for 52 damage when I do a melee strike on this enemy. Now I'm Nisha so I don't do that much, however, especially if you're running a melee build, you're going to want to have a Cryo uh, weapon on you for the simple fact that this will increase your damage done by 250%. We're gonna go ahead and showcase that now. So we go ahead, we have this cryo enemy and we hit them for 182. This is a very significant buff to your melee damage, like I said, 250%, which this is why I prefer cryo over slag because it has a different utility outside of just being you know, just, just flat damage. You actually get different damage values depending on what you're using against a cryoed enemy. For example, Explosive does not get the 250%, and we're gonna go ahead and go over that uh, now. So you can see that my rocket launcher here is gonna do about 1037 damage, which, you know, rocket launchers deal a very significant amount, you know, especially the Torg launchers. However, if I decide to cryo the enemy before actually hitting them with the launcher, uh, I'm going to be getting a very large boost, about 210% damage. You can see I hit uh, for 20, uh, 32.07. So not as big as the 250, but still a very large amount that where it is worth it to make sure that your enemy is always cryoed before actually hitting them with an attack. And raid bosses can be cryo, they just don't actually become immobile, but they will take increased damage from these different sources. Now let's take a look at dealing critical damage. Cryoing an enemy will increase your critical damage. If we cryo this, or hit this guy in the head, you'll see that I hit him for 230. However, if we hit the cryoed scavenger over there first, You'll notice that I hit for two or 488. This is an increase of about 110%, which is significantly lower than any other bonus so far. But this is because I'm using a cryo weapon against a cryo fr uh, frozen enemy. If I use this Vladoff pistol, you'll see that I hit him for 34. But if we decide to cryo him first, you'll notice that I hit for uh, 102. This is a flat 200% bonus to uh, your damage from hitting a cryoed enemy. And this will pretty much cover all of the different aspects and buffs of the cryo element. So just a quick little guide for you all. I hope you all enjoy it, but to recap, 250% from melee, 110% from a critical with a cryo weapon, 200% for a critical with a non-cryo weapon, and then 210% for using an explosive weapon. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found this guide helpful or you just enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Help support me in what I do. And don't forget to subscribe for future pre-sequel content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later.